All right, um, <clears throat> I'm tired <laughs> working out, uh, but this is going to be a review of my $430 build. This is what mainly you'll see in my $400 builds. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. Uh, So this one, uh, before I get too much into this, I spent way too much time on. I tried to take a Dell motherboard and integrate it into this Acer case. I don't know how much you guys know about front panel connectors, but with um, but with um, Lenovo and Acer and all those people, they like to make their own motherboards and then have their front panel connectors only work for theirs because it's all jacked up. You'd have to cut up all the wires and everything in order to get it to work right. So, with that being said, I took an Acer and a Dell and pretty much connected it together. I kind of like this thing. Like, if you look at it, I like to call it Monster Jam, you know? Um, I cook, cut this out in the front here. There's a front fan. This is the DVD player. And this is really cool. Um, this is actually a hot swap bay. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever had a hot swap bay, but you tend to not use it until you get one. You just stick any hard drive in there, you place it in here, you stick it in there, and it's already got SATA and power hooked up, so then you're good to go. And you just clip it in, and you've got your hard drive going. So that's, I mean, that's a really cool feature. So when I sold, I sold a bunch of stuff out of this case. <clears throat> Well, I got this case lying around. I kind of like it. The other thing that's cool about this case, if you pop off the top of this, there is a there are two antennas, and those are connected. I meant to bring a light, but hopefully you can see. I should go get a light. But those are connected to a um, wireless adapter, obviously. Anyway, so we'll do this review without any light. Alright, so maybe if we just flip this up. Okay, so what we got right here is we got a 7970, which is the same as a 280X, 3 gigabyte graphics card. Okay. There's the cooler, CPU cooler. It's really nice. Uh, here, I got one right here. But this cooler is a lot nicer than the regular stock. Uh, it's a lot thicker, and it provides a much better cooling solution. So that comes with the Dell ones usually. Um, this is a one terabyte um, Caviar Black SS or hard drive. There's your hard drive bay, your DVD ROMs right there. This is a 750 watt Supernova EVGA 80 plus bronze modular power supply. Okay. So it's a nice power supply. Usually the biggest one I use. This is probably the biggest power supply I've ever used on a $400 build. Um, so that's good. And then you got this motherboard right here. So everything works, yada yada yada. I benchmarked this on Furmark for over two hours. Nothing happened, so that maxes out the GPU at 100%. So if it doesn't crash on that, it's not going to crash ever. Um, i5 2400 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, $430. All right. And this power button kind of looks like a light bulb. And then here you get all these lights and stuff. Yeah, these pretty lights come on. And but it was hooked up to a machine right now. You you know see the full effect, but it's not. But this is your front audio ports. 
We got four USB ports right here. Four USB 2.0 ports, which is nice. Um, Monster Jam. 430 bucks. Come get some. Kind of looks like he's winking, actually. Looks, he looks mad. Mad. 